guys the tree bend you know but it is such a blessing such a blessing because now it provides some shade in this area but i am a little concerned though about my sugar cane that needs sunlight it gets it you know but like way in the afternoon it gets the direct sunlight so i'm thinking maybe i'm going to have to clear maybe a branch somewhere inside there so so that i can get some sun seeping in down on the sugar cane right there my jamaican backyard garden portmore edition this is gardening with stacy come garden with me now man what a nice place to live sweet jam Hello my gardening family, welcome and welcome back to another Daily Gardening with Stacey. I am so happy to have you all this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every morning when I post a video at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would like to say a big shout out to my channel members, Big up on yourself. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. For everyone that has purchased one of my books already, thank you so much, guys. I sincerely appreciate it. To everyone that has been sharing out my channel, my videos, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And guys, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Yes, man, this really helps. And I really want to spread the word, and I need your assistance. So help us spread the word. And thank you so much in advance. I appreciate you all. My gardening family, I underestimate the rain that we got late evening yesterday. And look what is going on. I leave my plants and didn't remember anything at all to cover them. Or to shift them especially the ones on here because when the water come down now you see what it did beat out the stuff right there and beat down some of them you know whatever seeds i had in here this is my pack choy got beat out right there put it back in there to see if it will come up back so i'm going to get things sorted out i'm going to put whatever i can put in the soil Whoa, look at this, guys. This is the gooseberry plant, and it is growing, you know, growing good, man. Look, growing nicely. But this is what I want to show you the gooseberry that is forming here. Remember that pretty little bloom that I showed you? See, it dried up. So, see the fruit is forming. These tiny leaves are actually within the gooseberry fruit itself. What Ron told me is that these tiny leaves, they are also edible. I can't wait to taste gooseberry. Look at the progress of my dragon fruit. Dragon fruit doing very, very well. I'm a coconut tree. I'm seeing new growth, man. The coconut tree looks bigger. What is that? Okay. The leaf pushing out there. Let me see what's going on for a potato. Okay nice so i'm just going to finish up replenish the soils in here over here over here look at this beautiful butterfly guys look at my yam look at our yam flourishing and looking nice I'm loving it. Whoa! Look at this okra plant. It's just growing, 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 growing. Like crazy. Look how it's coming up on the gungo tree. 
are the pigeon peas growing right up to it. <laughs> I don't know where that is going at all. I don't know. So I'm just pinching out this top layer right here so that the plant stop going up and focus on spreading across. So instead of going up, 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 it will get fluffy. I think it's at a good height right now. So I just pull out this top part right here. I'm going to do it for the sour sap as well. Pinch off up there. The pomegranates are all right. I can do it for the Aki tree now, you know. Yeah, man, because I like this eye that the Aki is on. Let me just pull out this in here. All right. So they can spread across now and get fat and fluffy. Guys, me just love look for my avocado tree. Oh my, did I step on you? No, I didn't. This cucumber not going to make it. I'm just take it out to fell off itself. Best thing to just take it off so that the plant's energy doesn't focus on anything else but the ones that are producing. Another little one there. See if I see any more. Don't know what eating this pak choy like crazy. Oh, I have some thyme inside here. Well, in all three, but the two at the back right here. I'm seeing a lot of sprouts. It looks like I didn't put much in this at the front. My strawberries. This is what has become of my strawberries now. So I'm trying to source more. Take off this. I can harvest this, you know. And plant back. So a lot of zinnia seeds inside here for those who don't know. So it got wet. I'm going to let it dry. And I can't always save them or plant them back right away. Either way, can't see worms bothering my color right here. You no, know. cut this thing ball. Well, the good thing about it, I'm not seeing much stink bug as usual. See a few there, one right there, one right there. I'm going to get some hot water to shove them off in. Yesterday when the rain was coming down, I planted two of my tomatoes right here. I'm just praying for them and hoping for the best. You see the ones that I pruned the other day? I pruned them right back. They're coming up. This one, a part of it looking good and a part of it not looking good. I'm just going to take off this. Look at the two stink bugs right here. Take that off. So I have that to deal with the stink bugs. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to take out this yellow pear tomato. Tell me, what do you think, guys? Should I take out this yellow pear tomato? It has blooms on it, you know. It has blooms. But, oh, it's not encouraging at all. Not encouraging me. My sunflower. Leaning over. Well, at least... It is producing me a lot of sunflower seeds. Guys, the way this tree got a beaten from the wind in the hurricane. Some of the fruits, you can see where 
they have a lot of chippings on them. That's as a result of the, how they were dragged in the wings. I mean, beating up on branches and stuff like that. Like, look at this one over here. These two little sweet pepper or bell pepper. Looks like they are blushing. Looks like they are not going to get any bigger at all. So guys, I have this morning cut out for me. I'm going to put whatever I can put in the dirt. And I'll definitely catch you tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. And until tomorrow, walk good. Come garden with me now, man. That's what a nice place to live. Sweet jam.